It's typical, I want to make a video about something else, yet I'm lumbered with a video about this. And I feel I've already made a video about these. Thank you very much to Andrew Dalton for sending these in. These were pretty ineffectual power banks, and it's not for the lack of the correct circuitry, because I recognise the PCB in these, but just because they're totally rubbish. So let's take the lid off and have a look inside, because I suspect it's this cell, more than anything else, that is biggest failing. So I'm just trying to manoeuvre this lid. I can certainly see the various orifices that need to be poked. The jump cut, but as you heard that ping, someone was calling me. Right, I've popped it open. Oh, I always thought it was interesting. It has this packer here, but they never take the tape off to stick it down. So it's really just to stop it rattling around. So I've got a power source here to charge it up. Let's see what happens. So we plug this in and you can see nothing. And if I recall, they've got this really weird thing. If the battery is totally dead, like totally, totally dead, the charger won't be having any of it. It's almost as if it doesn't detect there's a battery there. And looking at my multimeter, there we go, off camera, you can see it's reading absolute zero. Let's try this, a more definitive test absolutely nothing and it's really frustrating because i want this for a project but just have a look at this this part is pretty standard you can buy these on the internet and they're literally pennies each and they're really good so you have the charge port there to charge up your cell that's connected and your usb power out and i've used it on a variety of cells and it's really good not just these uh 18650 star but the actual flat uh, lithium cells as well so i'm gonna have a quick play with this see if we can get this you know, bursting into life, and I'll let you know how I did it, if I manage. Fortunately, from my video with my ZX81 that you might have seen earlier, if not, please go have a look in the history and go watch it, I have this headphone style jack with a negative and a positive tip. I have it set to 3.6 volts. I'm going to hopefully kickstart this into thinking there's a battery there and see if it starts charging. We saw before there's totally zero going on here, so here goes nothing. And I'm looking at my meter on the side, and it did draw a fair bit of current there. Hang on, let's try again. Yep, it's drawing 600 milliamps. Up, oh, up, oh, hello, hello, hello. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Now we're in business. I just remember the Daltmeister General actually sent me two of these. So let's do, let's do a sanity check to prove to you it's a legitimate technique by doing the second one. And hopefully with this, we're gonna be okay as well. This is the sort of quality content you're here for, isn't it? It's just sort of random haphazard nonsense. Right, what did I use as a load last time? Oh, I didn't have a load, I just tried to charge it. That's fine, we don't need a load, we're just charging it up. So here goes, nothing. And you can see, absolutely nada, nada, nada. Now, I'm just looking for my blooming wire. Here it is, got it. It's underneath my fat ass. Right, here we go. So we've got 3.6 volts at the tip. That's what she said, let's go for it. Ooh, no, I'm not seeing current yet. I'm not seeing current, hang on. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to solder on a little prong here so I could extend this out. Ah, okay. Let's try again. Let's just pop it out and pop it back in because these do have weird modes where they actually detect certain things like if you power a device, it can't charge at the same time and stuff like that. So who knows what the onboard trippery, trickery, chippery is doing. Oh, there you go. Turns out it was actually the AC adapter that this one was running off. So there you go. This is probably one of the shortest videos I've done in a while, but if you want to recharge a lithium cell that has gone total discharge, and this actually uh, might work for phones and all sorts. Look, I've got loads of cells locking around here. Um, certainly, this is probably a way you could try. Please be careful though, don't hold up too long and make sure the voltage is more or less the same as the battery. I think you're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Bye-bye.